Before I start this video, I just want to say thank you for the 11 people that have subscribed to me. Like, I'm totally famous now and it's just all got into my head and I don't have time for any of you. Seriously, I thought it would stay at more like zero and both my videos would get zero views. And I really love doing this and I hope I can do this more because it's just like the coolest thing in the world. I don't care if no one watches me. Well, I do, but... <laughs> Also, don't I look like such a two-year-old? Doesn't it look like a dog has just come and excreted on my head? It's so cute, like goals, like Tumblr link. On the subject of looking like a two-year-old, this video is about my childhood stories and some of the just weird, confusing, deranged things I did as a minor. And I'm now beginning to question why I wasn't put up for adoption after revising these in my head. So the first story I think just perfectly sums up how I was as a human being and how just melodramatic and just awful I was. Beatrice Kira was just walking along shopping with her mother, holding her hand, you know, just being a child, running around, looking at everything that doesn't concern me. All of a sudden I of course decide that I want to start jumping so I do and bear in mind that I'm still holding her hand so when I jump I'm, g I'm gonna I'm gonna take her with me I just take off I just this is really difficult to explain but imagine she's standing and I leap forward there's gonna be some like tension in my arm right and I leap forwards and she realizes I've leaped forwards being a fool like a complete and utter fool and of course, I've dislocated my arm. So I start screaming and crying apparently and holding my arm and being sad like, you can't feel my arm, I can't move my arm, my arm really hurts. So she decides, okay, well, it's time to take you to the hospital. Why do all my bad stories happen in hospitals? So we get to the hospital and my mum is like frantically trying to get me medical attention because I'm really overreacting at this point, but she doesn't know that. And so she's looking away and everything and we're waiting and the doctor's like, okay, I'm going to come and see you now. What am I doing? What am I doing? What is Kira doing? I'm sitting in the other side of the waiting room in the toy pit playing. I'm building Lego bricks with my arm which is supposedly hurting really bad and needed desperate medical attention. I can easily say my mother was very embarrassed. I know that one wasn't I know that one wasn't like completely traumatic. But I think it just sort of like sums up my personality in a really good way because I just suck and I still do kind of suck. But <laughs> oh, guess what? Another story where I injure myself. So this one took place when I was like five. We had like a bouncy castle swimming pool in the garden and it was like my favourite thing in the summer. I used to bounce on it and I used to go down the slide into the water. I loved it. So one day I decide I want to play on it. It's a sunny day, so why not? It's already up. So I'm not sure where I got this idea from. I must have like watched a show or something where someone did something like this and I thought, hmm, I can do that. Oh, by the way, I used to think I could lift cars when I was younger. I don't know where I got that idea from, but I just used to think that I could lift a car. Anyway, so I walked the stairs at the top of this bouncy castle swimming pool and I think, hmm, I'm gonna jump. So I jump, and I land on my back. I land on my back on a solid floor with only like two inches of water, like seriously, two inches of water. Why I thought this was a good idea, I'll never understand what was going through my brain. From that point on, I don't really remember anything because apparently I passed out. All I can remember is an ambulance coming, me getting put in an ambulance and getting an emergency x-ray as usual. I can't even begin to describe the amount of x-rays I've had in my lifetime. It's going to be so bad. I'm just going to like a radioactive glow-in-the-dark monster one day. 
I don't think that's how it works. No. This was back in the time where I wanted a broken bone and I was really sad when they told me my back wasn't broken. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> I was sad that I didn't have a broken back. So there you go. That's me. These are some stories from my childhood. You might enjoy, you might not, you probably won't. Please come back. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it made you laugh. Didn't make me laugh. Subscribe, it'll get better, I promise. Maybe, I doubt it. And I dropped it.